Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm deeply honored to be here today. In the annals of time, 2020 will be remembered for many things, few of them being the IMF forecast that Vietnam will remain one of the fastest growing economies in Southeast Asia. 2020 is also the year that Vietnam's GDP per capita will continue its steady rise and surpass yet another ASEAN economy, specifically the Philippines. Vietnam approved its first public-private partnership law this year, and Vietnam's institutions were tested and their resilience affirmed what many astute observers have known all along, that Vietnam is a steadily rising star in the region. While the specter of the COVID-19 pandemic remains, though st through strong leadership and coordinated action, Vietnam has been able to rapidly extinguish the spread of the virus within its borders and reopen safely. However, being open for business has its limitations when neighbors and trading partners continue to suffer from the pervasive drop in consumer demand we are witnessing globally. While many large businesses are capable of weathering this challenging time by trimming operations or turning to established banking networks, the manufacturing and tourism sectors have been severely affected. As a result, many Vietnamese households are experiencing extreme financial uncertainty. Numerous small and medium-sized enterprises will struggle to regain their former momentum, and in some cases, businesses must face the prospect of terminating operations. In recognition of our enduring friendship with Vietnam, our partnership in the Indo-Pacific region, and the difficulties this pandemic poses, USAID contributed $9.5 million as well as a donation of 100 ventilators to support Vietnam's fight against COVID-19 and contribute to its economic recovery. Small and medium enterprises, or SMEs, play a central role in Vietnam's economy, accounting for 98% of all enterprises, 40% of the GDP, and employ 60% of the workforce. However, due to COVID-19, many of the typical issues faced by SMEs have been amplified, such as access to finance, human resource availability, and market access. In response, USAID programming such as the USAID Linkages for Small and Medium Enterprises project is helping SMEs seize new market opportunities, enhance production cap capability, and build management capacity. COVID-19 mitigation efforts are also helping business support organizations to target SMEs' access to finance needs, improve business matching, increase technology adoption, and enhance service delivery to SMEs. It's not enough to focus efforts on the challenges of the present, however, while the future lies in wait. Vietnam is charting a course beyond labor-intensive industry towards a knowledge-based economy. The pandemic is accelerating science and technology adoption to historic levels. Vietnam's goal of becoming the premier regional technology hub by 2045 is closer to reality than some may real realize. USAID will continue to partner with Vietnam to lay a foundation for a greater market-oriented, innovative, and entrepreneurial ecosystem. This includes deepening private sector investment in infrastructure, electricity generation, and transmission, reducing the time and cost of trade, cutting the bureaucratic burden for businesses, both domestic and foreign, and equipping Vietnam's youth with the tools to create and innovate. One of USAID's longest ongoing projects in Vietnam is in partnership with the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The Provincial Competitiveness Index, or PCI, is a private sector-driven survey that serves as a barometer of provincial government performance it set in motion years of healthy competition across Vietnam's 63 provinces that generated a virtuous cycle of business ecosystem reforms, reducing barriers, paperwork, and administrative processes. PCI is one of many economic governance reform efforts developed by USAID to engage with and address the needs of the private sector. Dr. Look, USAID recognizes VCCI's forward-leaning spirit and we thank you for your continued partnership in this effort. 
Over the past 15 years, USAID has been working closely with Vietnam to strengthen the ability of local enterprises to scale operations, improve the business enabling environment, train emerging leaders, reduce the time and cost of trade, and enhance the national and provincial legal and regulatory framework to drive private sector investment, and we remain committed to supporting Vietnam's economic growth. As we mark 25 years of ever closer ties between Vietnam and the United States, I'm reminded that Vietnam's astonishing success over the years has consistently defied the naysayers. I anticipate that years to come will be equally breathtaking. Thank you.